All right, hey you guys, it is Saturday and the weather is gorgeous. So there were some pictures that we were going to try and get next weekend, but the weather isn't looking that promising. It may take a turn for the better, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna go ahead and get out in it and try and take advantage of the beautiful weather. Um, I think it's supposed to get up to like 68, maybe even the 70s today. And um, next weekend, it's a 30% chance of rain. So that could change. But anywho, I'm about to scoot out the door. But before I do that, I wanna show you guys a really quick peek of my outfit that I'm wearing. I love this dress. It's a wrap dress and it's the color coral. I don't own a lot of coral, but it makes me happy. It raises my mood. Um, so let me show you guys real quick and then I gotta scoot. All right, here it is. So I have on, hopefully you can see it. Let me move in. All right, so it's a V-neck wrap dress. Got my little belt on the side. And this is like a true wrap dress. So they have some wrap dresses that are kind of faux, meaning that they're sewn together, um, but this is not the case. So I had to make sure I pulled it really tight around the waist and I double knotted it because I do not want it to unravel. I think we might have a slight breeze outside. I'm not sure. But just to make sure that I took care of that, I went ahead and double double knot um, when I tied it. But I love these ruffle sleeves here. Let's see, if I try to get close, that sun is gonna get all in the way. Um, <clears throat> here we go. The ruffle sleeve, super cute, is like two layers. And then the ruffle collar, and then the ruffle on the, um, the end. I love that. I love that detail, the little flowers. Um, I'm learning how to pick prints that flatter my figure because what I found out, and I've been researching this, is if you have a fuller figure or a curvy figure, you probably wanna go with smaller prints rather than larger prints. Um, so the jury's still out on that. Oh, the sun went away. Okay, um, so anywho, and for my shoes, I'm wearing these cute coral ballet flats. I saw a video with someone saying that ballet flats were out. But you know what? I don't care. <laughs> I don't even care. I'm gonna wear these and I feel like this outfit is super cute. Um, if I wanted to kick this up to like um, maybe like date night level or something like that, I could always throw on a, a pair of nude pumps or strappy sandals or something like that. But this is what we're doing today. All right, so this is the outfit. We're gonna go out and shoot it. So I will check back in. Hey you guys. All right, we are out here on the road. Um, the first stop we're going to head over to is going to be over in Lake Otis. I'm hoping that I will be able to get a good shot. This is going to be my first time trying to do this on my own, but I've seen other people do it on their own, so I think I can handle it. Um, but my goodness, I cannot get over the weather. I can't. It is absolutely amazing. And so, um, what do I have going on? I need to go run to Ulta later on today and then I need to go and pick up some wine. Um, I have a date, so that should be pretty cool. Um, and then, yeah, so I think that's about it. Um, yesterday, Kasha and I, we went on that hike. You guys should have seen that video before you see this one. It was so much fun. Oh my gosh, and I tell you what, my baby, she is an Alaskan baby. She really is. The cold doesn't really bother her that much. She's not worried about the wildlife when we are out and about in the wilderness and stuff. So, I mean, I told her, I said, you're gonna miss this, aren't you, when you leave? And she was like, yeah, mommy, I think we're gonna miss getting outside like this. But I'm hoping that wherever she decides to go to school, that they have something kind of like this or maybe um, places that are kind of like within driving distance, so. Um, I think I'm gonna sign up for now, sign off for now, and the next time you see me will probably be when I'm setting up. All right, you guys, I'm not sure how well you can see me, but we're heading over here to this really cute area. It has two park benches, and I feel comfortable shooting over there because there's like so much traffic i don't even know if you can hear me um but it's a really nice picturesque in my opinion place you know very minimal 
has some flowers over there. So we're gonna see what we can get. All right. you guys I finished getting my shots um, only thing is that and my heart is beating so fast right now um, as I was on my way walking back to my car and my car wasn't too far from where I was taking my photos this man pulls up in a van and he rolls down his window and he's like can I ask you something can I ask you something and he was being very persistent and this woman who was an uber driver um, yeah she said she was an uber driver um, she came up and she stopped and she was like, did you order an Uber? I said, no, I didn't. And she said, are you safe? And I said, can you wait for me to get in my car? Let me tell you something. The women in Alaska are no freaking joke. If they see, I will say another person, but especially another woman that might be in danger or needs help, they will get out of their vehicle and they will help push them out of the snow. They, I mean, I was so thankful all right, um, and who knows, maybe nothing would have happened. Maybe nothing would have happened, but I'm so thankful that she asked that question. And I asked her, I said, can you um, stay here while I get in my vehicle? And the guy, he went to the end of the street, turned around and pulled up right behind my vehicle. And she turned on her hazards and she just sat there and was like, hanging out the window looking and he saw her looking he got back into his van and then he um pulled up behind her but seeing that she wasn't going to move he went around her and so i'm telling you guys that was scary um i've never experienced anything like that um it's broad daylight out here but that just goes to show you you know you just have to be careful thank god that woman showed up if she didn't I had that big ass tripod in my hand and I would have tried to wear him out the best way I could if he would have tried something so anyway I need to calm down <laughs> I need to calm down because I don't want this to ruin what I'm trying to do today so I'm gonna go out here I'm gonna give myself a, a few minutes and then I'm gonna go out here and wrap up this um this shoot that I'm trying to do so you guys oh and you know what? So let me let me tell you, because I was like, wow, what timing? Yesterday, I was dri driving down the street, Kasha and I, when we were on our way to IHOP. And I saw there was this bike laying on the side um, <clears throat> of a sidewalk, beside the sidewalk. And it looked kind of disheveled. And when I looked a little more as we were passing, I saw this man who looked like he was passed out. And I didn't know if maybe he was taking a nap, you know, because sometimes the homeless people will take a nap wherever. I just wasn't sure, you know. And so I called 911 and I reported that there was what appeared to be um, a Caucasian male passed out beside his bike. And um, because usually if somebody, when you get off your bike, don't you normally use your kickstand? I mean, I don't know. But anyway, I called and reported that and who knows, you know, he may have been in a life or death situation or he may have been completely fine. But I believe the fact that I called out of a show of concern, I believe that, you know, you, you get back what you give. And I think because of that, that's why that lady was put in my path today. So I'm just so thankful and I'm emotional. <clears throat> I'm emotional because I was scared. But I'm emotional because, but I'm also emotional of the timing, you know, and that someone is looking out for me. So, oh my gosh, you guys, ah, I'm such a crybaby. Okay, I'm going to give it a rest here for a second and then I'm going to get back to, get back down to business.
right. So this, I'll try and get the name of this park. It's really nice. Um, I haven't been out here in a while, but it's pretty popular in the summertime, as well as in the wintertime, people still come out. Um, but they have like a cute little playground area. They have picnic tables. Um, I'm trying to see if they have like the grills. I know some of our parks have the grills already set up. I don't see any, but there are people out here playing in the lake. It's just really cool to see people out and about and enjoying the sunshiny weather. We know it's going to be going away pretty soon. Tomorrow's going to be August 1st. So for me, I pretty much start acting like it's fall in August or at least by mid-August. out there you guys it is super hot super hot I feel like having an ice cream I should ask Kashi if she wants one I'm gonna call baby girl see if she wants an ice cream Would you like some ice cream? Sure. Okay. Um, so I thought about going to Wild Scoops, but I know they have kind of like funky flavors. So I can go to Cold Stone. Yeah. You want to text me what you want? Okay, sure. Okay. I'm heading that way right now. Okay. Okay. All right. See you in a bit. You okay. Bye. All right, so it looks like we are on our way to Cold Stone. I wanted to go to Wild Scoops just because they have like really unique and creative flavors, but um, it would be difficult for me to know what kind of ice cream to get for Kasia if I was gonna go there, so. All right, I am gonna try and figure out how to get out of this parking lot and get on the road. Okay, so I decided I'm going to go to Wild Scoops and then I will get baby girl something from Cold Stone because I've been wanting Wild Scoops for a while. Um, so Wild Scoops is a locally owned ice creamery and they used to have a location and they may still have a location, I think they do, downtown. It was really small. You could probably fit about maybe six people in there at a time, but they will have this long line like all the way down the sidewalk almost to the end. And so they opened up a larger shop. I'm hoping it's still there, I think it is. Um, they opened a larger shop in Midtown. So that's where we're gonna go. Um, I mean, they have such cool flavors. Hopefully I can get the uh, menu. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go check that out. I'm gonna go get my ice cream and then I will go and get baby girl's ice cream. And then I'm heading back to the house. No, I gotta stop by the store. Oh gosh, I was supposed to go to Ulta. And then I gotta go and get some wine. I should still have time. I should have time to do that. All right, stay tuned. way back to the house um, Wild Scoops was a no-go because they are super busy lying out the door as per usual so I will try and make that happen tomorrow in the meantime I stopped by this one winery that I forgot was in the same strip mall as Wild Scoops and I picked up two bottles of wine 
Um, I'll show you those when I get back to the house. But I don't know about you guys, but for some reason, okay, this is one of my pet peeves. If I'm talking to someone and they do this thing like where they roll their eyes, but they're smiling when they do it. You know, like they'll say something and then they'll like roll their eyes. And I would try to show you guys to demonstrate, but number one, I'm driving. And number two, I think I get a freaking headache if that's how I, what I did when I talked to people. I don't even want to demonstrate it. But <laughs> has anybody ever experienced that? You talk to somebody, they're helping you, and then, they're, well, not even help you, but they're talking to you, and then they like do this little eye roll thing. I guess they think they're being cute. I don't know. It's aggravating. I don't like it. Um, so anyway, I'm a little annoyed right now. Number one, because I couldn't get my wild scoops. Number two, because the cashier was doing like that whole little eye roll thing. Ugh. Anyway, I might have to pregame before my date have a glass of wine. Um, but anyway, it's a beautiful day. I'm not letting anything get me down, you guys. You know, I survived a near kidnapping, possibly. Uh, probably not, but that guy was creepy AF. I gotta tell y'all. That shit was crazy. Um, so yeah, let me concentrate on the road, get back to the house, and then I will check back in. Okay, here we are. So I got vanilla with pecan, waffle cone, and bananas mixed in together topped with whipped cream and baby girl got vanilla with chocolate syrup minimalist <laughs> all right we're gonna enjoy our ice cream okay these are the two lines that I picked up they're both Riesling um, poets leap I've never tried it before it's supposed to be a little on the drier side I'm not really a dry Riesling girl um, I think I maybe only had one dry Riesling ever in life um, and then this other one, which I've never tried before either, Dr. Lucen, um, the blue slate is supposed to be more on the sweeter side for a Riesling. So I'm going to try this dry one tonight. I'm feeling adventurous and, uh, the other person is going to, he's going to bring a wine as well. So yeah, it'll be really cool. Hopefully he'll be trying a Riesling that he hasn't tried before. I know he likes Riesling and then he also likes Chardonnay. So we'll see. All right.